Fred Couples off to a fast start. He birdied his first three holes, then at the eighth. Couples would roll it in. That got him to 11 under par. And then Lanny, a second shot at the par, 5-11. Well, he hit a huge drive in this five iron coming in. Great shot. Carries the water, no problem. Lands it right up by the flag. Leaves it about 15 feet looking for eagle. Couples would go on to make birdie. That would move him to 12 under par. So Craig Stadler with a three-shot lead over Fred Couples. Mark Kalkovecchia, David Frost, Bernhard Langer, Mark O'Meara, and local product Jeff Sluman all at 11 under par. Tom Lehman leads the group at nine under par here in the final round of the Encompass Championship. Second shot at the 14. Scott McCarron following this group. And Freddie Couples had a beautiful three wood down the left hand side here. Just has 107 yards to the front, 120 to this back, or actually front right hole location. Very accessible location for Freddie. He's going to have a lot of wedges today and playing some great golf. Well, at this stage of the game, Freddie has to be thinking birdies. He's still three shots behind Craig Stadler. Craig on a par five, so this is the time to go flag hunting. He's done that here. Oh, did he ever. Draws it back to about five, six feet. Really nice shot by Fred. To 14. Oh, that's one that has to go down right there for Fred, and it does. Great putt for Fred. Great birdie. And Lanny, uh, obviously today, he's done a much better job of controlling the distance on the short irons, which he had a problem with the last couple days. And Fred Couples getting ready for his second shot. What does he have, Scott? John, he's driven it down here over 310 yards. He's only got 100 yards to the front, 121 to this back right hole location. Almost the same yardage he had last hole, but he's now going back into just a little bit of a breeze. Got to try to keep it down a little bit and watch the spin. This green does slope from back to front. He hasn't exactly been sticking these close all week. See if he does it here. Uh, yeah. A little bit more focus today, I think. Well, he sure got it on, on play, John. I mean, he's hit several irons now right over the flag. And Fred Couples taking a look at his birdie putt. John, Freddie had a wonderful little wedge shot in here just below the, just above the hole. Not much in this putt. Fairly straight. A lot of players, there's only been a couple of birdies here all day. Players been misreading. There's a little bit of slope here that they don't see. I think he's read it correctly if he just keeps it inside the hole. I just got the read from his caddy, Casey Kerr, who said dead straight. Oh, boy. Got it outside the hole. Golden opportunity there for Freddie. A 317, Fred Couples on the tee. Scott, what does he have? Freddie's got four iron from 219 yards, and he just looked up at the flags, and they're helping out of the left. And this is starting on a good line, just drifting slightly right. Oh, man. Back to the Encompass Championship. Fred Couples at the 17th, looking for a birdie. And John, Freddie hit a wonderful four iron just 15 feet right of this whole location. This putt's gonna break about a cup to his left. If he can make a couple birdies coming in post, that's gonna put a lot of pressure on Craig Stadler. I never got it high enough. Now to the 18th, Fred Couples, two off the lead. Scott McCarron following this group and uh, Everybody wants to get those grips cleaned off. Lanny, he uh, had an opportunity to really put pressure on Stadler, missed a makeable birdie putt at 15, and then reached the green, although missing the green at 16 and two, but not able to make birdie on those two holes. Yeah, last three three holes, he could have closed the, the door a lot and gotten a lot closer, missed short ones. Uh, poor chip at 16. Had a very makeable putt at 17, a little longer than he wanted. And 18 now, this is what he has to birdie. Uh, the bunker on the right side, not a factor, only about 220 to carry. Uh, he's in perfect con position. And the back hole location 18 is going to make it tough. And we'll look at Freddie earlier at 13. Beautiful roll for Birdie at 13. It just misses on the right side. And 15, hit, this is where he had to make it after Birdie in 14. 
just misses a six foot and he hit a poor pitch to here, Bob, at, at 16. Never got it up high enough. Seems to be missing all those to the right. And then at 17, pretty good look for Birdie as well. Never got it high enough or hit it hard enough. No, it, it came off the putter bouncing, which meant it wouldn't hit solid. Couples was in the mix at the region's tradition, came up a shot short, uh, trying to chase down a McCarran with this group. Freddie's had a wonderful drive, just waiting for Corey to hit out of the trees here. Fight. Fight. Well, Scotty's certainly given himself some opportunities, just not able to convert over the last couple holes. You know, I tell you what, he's driven the ball wonderfully today. He had some great iron shot, great wedges, and just the last three holes hasn't been able to convert with the putts. What's he got going in here, Scott? He's got 114 to the front, 136 to this back right hole location. The wind is a little bit out of the right and into him. Scott, does he, is there a scoreboard there? Does he know Stadler's given one more back? I don't think he knows. There's a scoreboard there, but it's angled so he can't see it. So I don't think he knows that he's one back right now. Well, either way, he knows he's got to stuff this shot. So he's looking at nothing but the flag. And, uh, you know, if he hits a good shot, he'll get a, you know, really nice, pleasant surprise when he walks up on the green. I just got the club from his caddy, Casey Curse, who's going to hit a little nine iron. This is headed right in the bunker. Bunker almost right, the bunker caught the tree, and that, that might have been the issue. Back at the Encompass Championship, Fred Couples playing his third shot at 18. And he's on the little upslope here. Probably needed to hold that shot and really not a very good second shot. And that's just what we've started to come to expect from Fred Cup. The 18th with a lengthy par putt after missing his second shot in that right green side bunker. Trying to post 13 under. And yeah, that bunker shot was just in the upslope. It's always difficult to get it all the way to the hole when you're coming out that upslope. But it was something that I think he felt he had to make. Now he's got some 10 feet for par. Yeah, this one probably has to go down, Scott. I, you know, I mean, he could end up tied to the lead at 13 if he, you know, does make this putt with, with Stadler in the bunker back at at uh, 15. But uh, I sure wouldn't want to miss this putt and think my chances were very good. No, I know he he thinks he's got to make this one to have a chance. This putt should break a little to his left. Well, and the other one, the wild card here in this thing is Bernhard Longer is you know, 12 under and only two back with two to play. Don't count him out of making a birdie coming in. Oh. Couples will make bogey at 18 and he's going to post 12 under. So the putter goes cold after rolling the one birdie in at 14. Missed a makeable one at 15. Hit a poor chip at 16. Had a makeable birdie at 17. Now makes bogey at 18. And Lanny, uh, as Scott told us earlier, he was trying to feather in a nine. When you're in a pressure situation, you like to go with the hard shot, don't you? I would like to be hitting something very firm. Yeah, I mean, either that or doing something with it, playing a little fade or something. To just hit a little baby deep, accelerate nine is a very tough shot to control. Freddie, you yeah, had such a great day going. What happened there at the end? Well, I just kind of shanked it. You know, I had the same yardage yesterday, but the pin was on the left. And I actually drew a 9-9 nine -nine in there, and I told Casey I'm going to cut this 9-9. Nine -nine. And, you know, I played much better this week. I've hit some squirrely shots the last few weeks, um, and that was kind of how I was hitting them, but not today. But it was just a really a bad swing, of easy shot as you could ever have. Well, thanks, Freddie. You played great, and we still got a chance. Yeah, well, I mean... There's other guys coming in. I, I would love to see Stads hang on. I was trying to give him, I, you know, when you came out, I made one birdie. Uh, I did not birdie 16, the par five, which is not an easy hole, but I, I, uh, I had a couple other chances, just couldn't get to where I could at least tie him. But uh, it's nice to see him playing great. Thanks for your time, Fred. Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks.